Let's go exploring with Daniel Cook right here on the Veritable Quandary. Here we are! This is Daniel Cook making plasticine art. Hi, I'm here with Barbara, and today she's going to teach me how to do plasticine art. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Daniel. This is Daniel Cook on a bike, in a plane, on a farm, playing games with many places and friendly faces. We'll have lots of fun with Daniel Cook. I don't know if you've ever seen plasticine artwork. I've got some here. This is Daniel Cook looking at Barbara's art. I keep it in the box because it's, it's very squishy. It's still soft. Uh, but here's some little faces that are, they're quite realistic. So I looked at real pictures of, of babies and adults to get them just right. This guy kind of looks a little bit like you. Do you ever have someone read out loud to you and you can imagine in your head how the book looks? Yeah, 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 I can kind of do that with some chapter books. You have to think up the pictures. Exactly. That's, an illustrator does that for their job. I always draw before I do any plasticine work. I figure all the pictures out with pencil drawings. I've got oh, so, some. So you, um, so you draw it first and then you, and then you um, cover it in with plasticine? Pretty much, pretty much. I'm just gonna see if I, yeah, I've got some drawings here. How do you get the plasticine into the, into the picture of a book? That's a really good question. What we do is we take a really careful photograph of the artwork. That's what it looks like. It's kind of like a big slide. And there you can see, there's the same picture. Sometimes the color is a little bit different, but that is exactly that picture. You can only see that part. That's right, because this is actually the cover wraps around. They call it a wrap around. That's the front cover. And this is the back cover. So you can see it probably on this book. You can see the front cover. But the picture really goes all the way around. I like covers yeah. that, that wrap around like that. Yeah, that's neat, because you, cause you never know the whole, because you can never see the whole thing. The most useful tool, of course, is your imagination. Yeah. The next thing is your hands to make the shapes, but every now and then we use a few, a few other tools that you might like to check out. Start, let's see, what kind of thing do you feel like making? I think I might do a tornado scene. A tornado scene? Yeah, that a whole bunch of things cool. flying around, and maybe a cow will step wow. in the tornado. Wow, okay. And he'll be flying in the tornado, and he'd go like, and he'd be, and he might be going like, this is Daniel Cook making a plasticine tornado. So if it's a tornado and the background is gonna be some sky. Maybe what? some maybe maybe it could be a thunderstorm. Yeah, yeah, because it it wouldn't be like a bright blue sky, maybe. Let's make a stormy looking sky. And Gray if you get, looks good. Okay. And that's what I'm gonna use for the tornado too. So there's really there's three parts to making a plasticine picture. There's this, what we're doing right now, spreading out a background. It's almost like painting with your hands. The next thing is making a shape and sticking it on. And then the last thing is what you were just showing us, adding a texture. That. Exactly. Use that tool and go like that. That's, that's good thinking. It's that kind of thing, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like, like that. Yeah, twirl it up like a candy cane. Excellent, like it's a tornado actually happening. Oop, and if it breaks, just put it together. I'm gonna put a swirly on like that. That's starting to look kind of like a wild storm. And we can make some some rain coming. Oh, I yeah, had no. That looks oh, look at that. A pretty yeah. good tornado. That is a big storm. Yeah. Well, let's make the cow. It's probably good to make them in sections. This is Daniel Cook making a plasticine cow. 
So yeah. let's make his body, and then if he has spots, we can add the spots on top. This is a cow flying in, and there's a big cow, cow flying in the tornado, and here's some lightning. There's the tornado, of course. Here's some grass, and there's some rain. It's a dark sky. So it's a really stormy night. Thank you very much, Barbara, for showing me how to use plasticine. It was very really fun. Thank you for teaching me how to make a tornado. This episode is over, but the very best of my collection is banned on YouTube. To see what you have been missing, go to archive.org and search for Gyro Screw Loose, and I'll see you there.